Hello, my name is Fabio Cari and I'm the Managing Director here at Club Vini in Fulham. Welcome to our sixth video blog. Today we're talking about Friuli Venezia Giulia and if you don't know where that is, it's in the very northeast part of Italy. It's got the Alps there, it borders sort of Austria, sort of, so it's very Germanic in its sort of um, style. A lot of the German sort of great things like Gewürz Tramina, which we're trying to clone of today, uh, works very well there. Um, even their own sort of um, regional type grapes, uh, things like Schiopettino, Ribola Gialla, uh, Rifosco, which we're also going to be talking about today, work very, very well there, which are very typical of that area. Um, but again, being northeast, cooler temperatures, bordering the Alps it produces real elegant sort of crisp wines which uh, I'm very excited to talk to you about today. Um, we're actually talking about a company called Cabert which doesn't sound very Italian but it's actually an acronym which uh, stands for Cantina di Bertiolo. Bertiolo being the town or village where the wines are produced, Cantina meaning winery in Italian. <music> get straight onto the white wine which is the Tramina which is a clone of Gewürz Tramina which you've probably heard of before which is a very aromatic type um, grape uh, and this is no different so straight away on the nose is very intense very floral uh, the typical smell of sort of lychee comes through which is amazing I love this wine even sort of like roses uh, lychee and roses very typical of Gewürz Tramina same with this so it's, it's quite a uh, an intense sort of wine, so it will go with particular dishes, won't go with everything, uh, but let's give this a go. Very crisp, clean, um, elegant. Again, a lot of the whites that they produce uh, in this sort of region are very elegant, even with the reds you get that. This is no different, this is very sort of fresh, clean, crisp, it's actually quite a persistent wine and that's given by the strength of this actual intense um, aromatic grape variety. Uh, so it's a very persistent wine, so it actually stands up to a lot. So when you're pairing this, it, I mean it'll go with things like smoked um, fish, it'll go with sort of uh, strong cheeses, it actually pairs well, they found with Tramina, pairs very well with curries. So those sort of strong flavours, this will stand up to it because uh, again it's quite an intense wine but something you must try if you've never tried one please do this is a bit more of an approachable it's not a Gewurz Tramina it's a Tramina which is a clone of it uh, which means you're paying a little bit less for it um, but it's a, a lot more affordable and a lot more approachable in terms of sort of drinking it's not going to blow your head off but it's, it's you get all of those aspects to what you would expect from a Gewurz Tramina which I love I really enjoy this wine Okay, moving on to the next, we are moving on to a bit more of a well-known Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, so again, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon from the region of Friuli Venezia Giulia. Yeah, straight away you get that sort of green bell pepper smell, which is typical of Cabernet Sauvignon. Again, only stainless steel with these guys, um, which I, I really i am a fan of. Um, you don't get that sort of woody, no oak at all in this, but it really lets the wine shine through. Again. Very dry wine, but in a good way. Um, you get grassiness with this. It's actually a full-bodied wine with elegance. And this is what these guys do really well. You can get a real nice, um, robust wine, but it's also quite elegant and smooth. This is no different. This has all of that. It has that sort of grassiness as well, which is great, very well balanced. Uh, and I love the sort of balance of this, where it's got that real strong uh, robustness, but it's also yet elegant and smooth, which is a really good combination. Again, this will go with sort of cheeses, strong cheese, because again, it's quite strong, roasted meats, poultry, game even, but really good Cabernet Sauvignon if you want to try something different. Okay, moving on to Refosco, a little bit less well known. Not many people know about Refosco. It's very typical of the region of Friuli Venezia Giulia. Uh, Refosco dal Peduncolo Rosso, um, which is a bit of a mouthful, so we'll just say Refosco for now. And I really like Refosco. It's a bit of a Marmite wine, if I'm completely honest, in the sense that it's got a very particular taste. Um, on the nose and straight away in the mouth, you get that sort of real bubbly sort of round wine but it's also got a very short sharp finish which is very typical of the grape variety some people love it some people don't I'm gonna give it a quick go
Again, I love it. When it's in the mouth, you get that real blackberry sensation, really sort of, um, I call it a rounded wine, where it's really sort of um, fruity. That blackberry is very strong, nice and round, really well balanced, but then the persistence isn't there. It really just stops. Uh, which is great uh, for regional dishes of the area because you know it will pair with a lot of things this because you don't have that long persistence you can pair this with um, anything really but I mean it will go really well with sort of um, you know chicken it'll go well with meats it'll be typical dishes of the area it'll be quite nice but again even with starters this will work with a starter because again it's very sort of sharp dry sharp um, short finish is what I'm saying but in a good way it's not a bad thing um, but again it's a bit of, some people love it some people don't try it and let us know what you think <laughs> Thank you very much for watching uh, please do have a look at our social media on twitter instagram facebook we're on uh, youtube follow us on our youtube channel and if you want to hear anything more about friuli or any other region in italy please do get in contact with us we're more than happy to discuss things thank you very much Bye.